Hello, in this session we will discuss expression for radius of curvature for a polar curve. So now we are back into polar curve and we can see that for the polar coordinate system, let us say this is our curve R f of theta and there be any point P. So this point P can be represented now in terms of R and theta, O be the pole and OX be the initial line. So the angle made by OP is let's say theta and drawing a tangent to it which is extended so that we can have a perpendicular. Now let us say that it meets the initial axis at point P. So this angle is psi which is the slope of the tangent with the initial line. Also the angle between the radius vector and the tangent will be phi. So this is that angle phi. So the, these are the things which we have already known and P will be the perpendicular distance of the tangent from the pole. So with all this information we know that psi will be actually theta plus phi as this is the exterior angle to the triangle OPT and this is something which you have already learned. Now as we know that 1 by rho is actually given by d psi by ds so replacing psi by phi plus theta this will be d theta by ds plus d psi by ds. Now we know that we can find a relation of phi in terms of theta so let us say that 1 by rho is d theta by ds plus d phi by d theta times of d theta by ds. So here we can take this thing common and we'll have 1 by rho equal to d theta by ds times of 1 plus d phi by d theta. Now we have already learned about the angle made by the perpendicular with the radius vector and the relation which we have is tan of phi equal to r times of d theta by dr. So this tan phi now can also be given as r by r1 dash. So this tan phi can now be given as r by r dash or r by r1 where r1 stands for dr by d theta. Therefore, let's say this is our equation number 1 and now with the relation tan phi equal to r by r1 we can actually find phi as tan inverse of r by r1. So if we have to differentiate this with respect to theta this is going to be d phi by d theta equal to differentiation of tan inverse of r by r1. So let us say that we are applying chain rule. So we will have 1 by 1 plus r by r1 square and differentiation of r by r1 with respect to theta. So we have applied chain rule where we can say that we have assumed r by r1 to be one variable. So tan inverse of some variable is actually 1 by 1 plus that variable square. Now we need to apply chain rule and differentiate that variable which we have assumed that is r by r1 with respect to theta as the differentiation was with respect to theta. So with this information we will have 1 by or rather we can say r1 square by r1 square plus r square. On the other side we can apply quotient rule for the differentiation of r by r1 so this will give us r1 times of r1 that is r1 square minus r times of r1 dash so instead of r1 dash we can say this is actually second derivative of r with respect to theta so let us say this is r2 so we are replacing it here itself this is r2 divided by 
R1 square. So we can see that this R1 square can get cancelled and we will have d phi by d theta equal to R1 square minus RR2 divided by R1 square plus R square. Also, we know that for a polar curve where arc length is s, the differentiation of arc length with respect to theta is actually given as r square plus dr by d theta square. So we can say that ds by d theta will be actually given as under root of r square plus dr by d theta that is first derivative so r1 square. Now with this relation we can further proceed and write in the first equation which we had that is 1 by rho d theta equal to d theta by ds times of 1 plus d phi by d theta. So let us say this is our second equation and this is our third equation. Now back to equation 1. In 1 now we can say 1 by rho will be equal to ds by d theta. So we have d theta by d ds so that will be 1 by r square plus r1 square whole to the power of 1 by 2 times of 1 plus d phi by d theta so that is 1 plus from equation 2 d phi by d theta is r1 square minus r r2 by r1 square plus r square. So we making the common base 1 by rho will be 1 by r square plus r1 square to the power of 1 by 2 times of r1 square plus r square. Now this is r1 square plus r square plus r1 square minus r r2 which will give us 1 by rho equal to r square plus 2r1 square minus r r2 and denominator will be r square plus r1 square whole to the power of 3 by 2. So reciprocal of this will give us the radius of curvature that is rho is r square plus r1 square whole to the power of 3 by 2 divided by r square plus 2r1 square minus r r2. So this is the result we are looking for. So this is the expression for the radius of curvature if we are in the polar curve. Thank you.